guys, it's Joe Tunney here at Honda of Seattle and Toyota of Seattle in the Soto District of downtown Seattle. And we're taking a look at the new 2016 Honda CRV versus also the new Toyota RAV4. This is kind of the one-two punch of the small sport utility scene. Not that there aren't other great choices. The uh, Honda and the Toyota just have captured the fancy of the marketplace and they've done so for a great many years. And they tend to be cross-shopped against one another like crazy. We're fortunate that we sell both of them, but both of them have their virtues and their vices. And if I had to pick between one, which one would I pick? Well, first off, let's take a look at the all new RAV4. It's actually uh, been a few years now that this particular body style has been out and about, but the, uh, it still looks terrific going into the 2016 season. I'm gonna pop the hood and take a look underneath there. The RAV4 used to come with a four cylinder and a six cylinder cylinder had 269 horsepower. It was super, super impressive. In fact, it went zero to 60 in under six and a half seconds. Well, they only come in a four cylinder and now, and the reason is the six cylinder just didn't sell all that well. It's just people didn't buy this car for uh, extravagant zero to 60 times. They bought it because they wanted it to be fuel efficient. They wanted it to hold their gear and they wanted it to be reliable forever and a day without costing a bunch of money. And so the current recipe is 175 horsepower, 171 pound feet of torque. So it has nice acceleration, zero to 60 in under nine seconds, not zero to 60 in under seven seconds like the old V6, but it's much more uh, economical as far as fuel friendliness. This one's gonna average mid twenties with 30 miles per gallon out on the open road. Not bad for something that weighs over 3,300 pounds. Taking a look at the lines, well, this is a limited, and so we're comparing, uh, essentially, this one's a $32,500 MSRP, where the Honda is a Touring, which is a $33,000 MSRP. So they're kind of the same product as far as how far your dollar goes, but the uh, both have 18-inch wheels. These have a, a very nice two-tone 18-inch wheel. Both of them have a leather interior. The difference on the interior is that uh, with the Toyota, you get that soft text, that kind of man-made leather. And so although it's like, well, man-made is not as nice as real leather, and I personally agree with that, the one thing about this soft text, it has proven to last forever. Just in everything that Toyota has put it in, it has been a really exceptional uh, interior alternative to leather. Gauges, they look really great and modern. The steering wheel is leather trim and the, it looks cool. It's three spoke, kind of sporty, kind of chunky with the 10 and two nubs here so you can hold on tight. Uh, great apps here, the uh, nice simple display, nice easy shifter, a nice kind of carbon finish. The uh, gives it a sporty kind of personality. And that's the one thing right off the bat. The RAV has kind of a, a sportier countenance than the, than the Honda does. Let's jump in the back seat. So we have good room in the front seat. I'm six foot tall, 175 pounds. Back seat, well, I have the seat pretty far back in the front, so it's a little bit snug for me in the back, but you know, I'm comfortable even with this seat far back. Somebody 6'5 would be comfortable where I have the front seat. So if I push this up to a more moderate position, I'd actually have pretty good leg room in the back. I think the leg room's nice. The headroom's nice. It's fairly spacious for a small sport utility. Taking a look here, one push of the button, it does have a power tailgate. In fact, they both have power tailgates. If I look at the spaciousness in the back, well, right off the bat, it's really spacious. The, uh, you have your spare tire down there. It's a smaller spare, but not quite a donut spare, and a little bonus storage down there as well. You also get the nice tonneau cover, which is a nice finishing touch, especially around the holiday season when you're out shopping for presents. You don't want prying eyes seeing what you got. Now we take a look at the new CRV. The uh, CRV is all new for 2015. And we'll pop the hood here. Now, a lot of people are critical of calling this an all new car because it's really kind of a uh, sheet metal, uh, barely a sheet metal change and then the uh, more of a mechanical change than anything else. But to my eyes, it looks completely different than the 2014-13 uh, body style and looks a lot nicer. It's also definitely more powerful. It shares its powertrain now with the Honda Accord. So whereas the um, Toyota gets 176 uh, horsepower to go with 172 pound-feet of torque, the CRV gets 185 horsepower, 181 pound-feet of torque. So nine more of each, you go, wow, this must be you know, faster or whatever than the other one. 
Be mindful though that that power is at 6400 RPM. You're pretty much never going to be at 6400 RPM. So the performance between the two is actually pretty similar. However, it does have more peak horsepower, so getting in front of that bus or something like that when you're merging onto the freeway, if that's something that you think might be important to you, you got a little bit more extra oomph in the CRV. Also, you get better fuel economy in the CRV. It's really impressive. It gets 33 miles per gallon out on the open road and nearly 30 combined. For something as heavy as this is, this is almost 3,400 pounds as equipped. That's actually marvelous gas mileage. With all-wheel drive, it's great. Inside, well, we mentioned the soft text in the Toyota. The Honda has leather leather, and it has a different personality altogether. Now, one thing, this has the uh, lane departure warning, and it also has uh, lane tracking. So uh, this will actually keep you in your lane. In fact, how it works is it's, it has cameras that read the, the little bumps on the road as you're driving down the road, and so it'll keep you in, in your lane, even if you take your hands off the wheel, all the way up to 90 miles an hour. Now, again, it's, that would be idiotic to take your hands off of the wheel, but these modern safety advances, which we call the sensing package, the, uh, it helps keep you on road, it helps keep you in lane, it also gives you a, a crash avoidance. It, the, uh, if somebody slams on the brakes in front of you, it's gonna give you a head start on braking. Well, these are pretty nice features. These features, this package, is new in the Honda brand, and the, uh, they're not yet available in the Toyota RAV4, and so, nice this is a little bit more expensive in the real world than the RAV4 is but that's one package I really like room yeah great room now back seat same thing I've got the front seat pretty far back I actually feel a little bit uh, uh, like there's a little bit more space back here which is odd because the, uh, the RAV4 has a little under 105 inch wheelbase whereas the CRV has a little under 104 inch wheelbase. So shorter wheelbase means less room for me, especially in the back seat. No, no, it's actually very spacious. Taking a look in back. Again, one push of a button and it's a power lift gate. So sometimes if there's a little bit more space for people, there's a little less space for stuff. No, not at all. It's actually virtually identical between the two and so actual cubic feet the uh, sometimes we fall in love with cubic foot measurements a little bonus storage down there but is it shaped like a cube should be the number one question because if it's all got a bunch of curves and what have you it might have ultimate uh, cargo capacity but not real world cargo capacity a lot of people that say listen i've got strollers and soccer balls i've got costco and dry cleaning is that stuff actually going to fit the way this is designed in the case of both of these cars they're identical and the answer is yes one other neat feature for the Honda is it does have lane watch. That's this camera right here. And so that's to help you merge in traffic. When you turn right, you use your right turn signal. This actually shows what's in that contiguous or neighboring lane. And then that camera uh, displays right there on your monitor, which is larger also on the Honda than it is on the Toyota. A great safety feature for people. It's not just like a blind spot chirp literally see what's going on there. A lot of people who have snug garages will also turn on their right turn signal as they back out. It just gives you better visibility of exactly what it is that's going on. Inside, very spacious. I'm going to jump into the driver's seat. It looks great. It feels great. You see how we have the pricing right here, $31,777, discounted from $33,775. We're a one price store. How that works is we just post the prices on our website. And so people say, well, darn it, I can get a lower price somewhere else. That's great. You shouldn't feel bad. You should feel good. We encourage folks to look at our website and say, you know, here's what it is, $31,777. Our cars come with no second stickers. You're not obligated to buy nitrogen in the tires or whatever silly nonsense dealers are trying to put off on you. Alarm systems already come with an alarm system. Pinstripe, stuff you don't even want. And so dealers will jack up the advertised price with some second sticker that you're obligated to participate in. With us, it's just the car, that's the price. You get a seven year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty for free. If you wanna use that as a negotiating tool where you live, so be it. The RAV4 is a little less expensive than the CRV, and so you need to factor that into the equation as well. MSRP wise, they're about $1,000 apart. Real world, as far as we price in the one price model, they're about $2,000 apart. 
That being said, I think that the $2,000 is well invested in the Honda CRV. It's like picking which is your favorite between emeralds and rubies. They're both great, they're both extremely valuable. It's just if it was my money and I was buying one of these two, even despite the little bit additional cost, I think I would go home with the Honda CRV. I think it's a terrific car. It does a great many things very, very well. It's very spacious, it looks very nice, it gets excellent gas mileage. Both are winners, but I picked the Honda CRV. Thank you. If you have any questions about the Honda CRV, the Toyota RAV4, or anything that we have here at Honda of Seattle or Toyota of Seattle, please don't hesitate to reach out. My name is Joe Tenney. I'm the pre-owned director for both Honda of Seattle and Toyota of Seattle. You can reach me anytime at joet at hondaofseattle.com.